let's have a look at the NES accessory known as the Power Pad. The Power Pad was kind of like an early version of DDR, and I guess DDR was spawned from rhythm games, so it was kind of like the earliest form possible. But anyway, it doesn't look familiar. Yeah, it's just a bandy fun and fitness pad, but, you know, Nintendo bought the idea, so it was rebranded as the Power Pad so it could appeal to kids. Basically, it was a controller that had buttons that you could step on, so let's uh, look at uh, some of the games that... Uh, is compatible with it. I, let's move, okay. So... Okay, it's kind of like a, a DDR, and uh, this is really impressive for the time. I mean, like, it's not a great game, but I can't honestly criticize it because, um, probably because the technology was just too young in the time for this to be decent, but... For sure, this is a combo cartridge, so if we go to Egg Explosion, it's kind of like whack-a-mole, and you step in the position that you want to go with the power pad, so it's it's kind of like whack-a-mole, to be honest, but the control's a little delayed, but it's this is actually pretty fun, I recommend it. Okay, but then, okay, there's the other game, a short order. Now, you see, you have, you have to make a sandwich properly. See, each ingredient is on somewhere, on somewhat position, so you have to step on it through the time period, and the control is pretty delayed also, but it's, it's not, uh, like, terrible, but it's just not that appealing. I mean, like, I'd rather, I think I'm gonna stick to egg explosion if I want to play in this combo cartridge. Okay, so, move on to Street Cop, and it's a side-scroller, I mean, like, this is a game that requires the proper Nintendo Entertainment System controller. and uh, But even if they were using the Nintendo Entertainment System controller, it still wouldn't honestly be that great. But, okay. Well, it's a triple cartridge. It's got Super Mario, Duck Hunt, and World Class Track Meet. Basically, World Class Track Meet is in its own separate game, but it was in the co like collaborated within the cartridges. Uh, but basically, you walk upward and backward so you can get to the end of the track. And okay, here's uh, one. So you know, it's it's. Pretty, it's probably one of the only good games. It's very similar to Super Team Games, which uh, was just another uh, game very similar to this. It's These are probably the only two like memorable games in this library that are compatible with the Power Pad. Okay, but next we have is extremely rare. I'll probably never get it. Some major NES collectors will probably never get it. Now, I know that there are, like, major, major ones, and uh, there is a guy named uh, Jay uh, Barlett. He's a Nintendo collector, and he has two of them. One is in the box. Well, because in the boxes are even rare. Because, you know, most people didn't keep the NES boxes, and... Uh <laughs> 